I'm Ashley, campus pastor of St. Joe at the Y. This morning is Circle Church, so I'm going to invite you into a time of prayer and reflection, just like our in-person circles are doing this morning. Several times I'll ask you to pause the video and I encourage you to reflect on the question. Maybe grab a journal, you can write your thoughts down, or grab a cup of coffee with someone in your home to discuss the questions. If you want, as we go along, please feel free to comment in this post um, with your answers. I'd love to hear from you. Today, we're gonna be talking about rest. It's summer and a great time to get away on vacation and rest. Think about on vacations you've taken. What are some of the most memorable ones? And it might be memorable because it was so great. Or tell us and tell us why it was so great. Or it might be memorable because even though it was vacation, it didn't really feel like it for some reason. For me, one vacation sticks out. It was a trip my grandparents took all of us grandkids, my mom and my uncle, to Disney World. We drove down, got stuck in a really bad traffic jam where someone actually got their grill out. We were there for so long. Had to find a different hotel because the first one was so infested with insects. And one moment that sticks out because my usually quiet grandfather didn't see the cement I-beam in a parking garage and walked right into it. And man, I heard words come out of his mouth I hadn't ever heard before and never heard after. He was okay but it's definitely something that sticks out. We had a great time, despite all of that. What about you? Take a second to pause and reflect. We all need moments of rest. It's so often that we find ourselves burdened by the pressures of work, family life, volunteering, or even all the other hats we wear. Even if those pressures are joyful, we, we love our work and our families, it's easy to feel like you need a moment to breathe take a load off, set the worries down for a second. I'm curious, what pressures or burdens are you currently feeling that you'd like to lay down for a second? This doesn't need to be your deepest struggle, although welcome that kind of vulnerability, but what are things that you feel pressured to get right, to do better at? What do you worry about? Take a few minutes to think about this. Maybe something immediately jumps out to you. I encourage you to write it down. Jesus reminds us that we can take all of our worries and burdens to him. Let's read our scripture for this morning from Matthew chapter 11. To what will I compare this generation? It is like a child sitting in the marketplace calling out to others. We played the flute for you and you didn't dance. We sang a funeral song and you didn't mourn. For John came no, neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. Yet the human one came eating and drinking. And they say, look, a glutton and a drunk, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved to be right by her works. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you've hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and have shown them to babies. Indeed, Father, this brings you happiness. My Father has handed all things over to me. No one knows the Son except the Father, and nobody knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wants to reveal him. Come to me, all who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn from me. I'm gentle and humble, and you will find yourselves rest. My yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. What's the first thing that comes to mind after you've read this? Something for me, um, it's the image of Psalm 23 that comes to mind. I envision walking into this really peaceful pond with these beautiful flowers all around and a bright blue sky, maybe a mountain in the background. And I've come with this backpack full of rocks, these burdens, the things that worry me. And there stands Jesus who takes the backpack off. And there's such a relief, a deep peace, a moment full of gratitude. I wonder what you picture. I'm going to read the messages paraphrase of Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And while I do, maybe take a second here to close your eyes and see what you picture. What does it feel like? Are you tired, worn out, burned on religion? Come to me and get away with me and you'll recover your life. 
I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I will lay nothing heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. How do we apply Jesus' invitation to the rest of our daily lives? Perhaps it's spending time in prayer, meditating on God's word, seeking the Holy Spirit through worship, finding a supportive Christian community, prioritizing time for self-care. Pause here for a moment. What's one thing that you can commit to doing this week to follow Jesus' invitation to rest? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. It wouldn't be right for us to talk about rest and not actually practice it. So often our lives are go, go, go. And so we are going to take five minutes of intentional time to be in silence and stillness. We're going to be led in a five minute guided Christian meditation time that will help ground us in scripture and give us a glimpse of one way we can find a rhythm of rest. You're invited to take a seat, either close your eyes or look down softly. And sit comfortably with your feet planted on the floor or ground and your back alert and your belly soft. Stay present to your body. Scan your body from your toes, up your legs, through your chest, all the way to the top of your head. Now move to your heart space and relax in the beating of your heart. Without thinking, your heart beats faithfully and supplies you with what you need to live. With your body relaxed and yet alert, and with your heart trustworthy and your mind open, be here now. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. The healing power of God longs to give you rest. Allow yourself to relax into this moment and release into the peace that passes all understanding available within you. If you're lost in thought, know that it's okay and gently release the thoughts and return to your divine center.
thank you for taking the time for spiritual practice. It's not only a gift for you, but a gift for everyone in your life. Thank you for joining me for this Digital Circle Church. May your week be filled with moments that you can remember to give your worries, cares, and gratitude to Jesus, and he give you rest. Stick around for the Key 3 announcement video. See you next week. Good morning, St. Joe and St. Joe at the Y Church family. My name is Taya, and I'm the Family Faith Director, and with me is... Jonathan Young, organist. And today we have a lot of fun things to talk to you about. So the first fun thing we're going to talk to you about is... Uh, the Follow the Pipes uh, concert series uh, next week, uh, or this week, uh, it is um, July 11th through the 13th. Uh, we will be having a concert here on Wednesday, July 12th at 1 p.m. Uh, there are actually seven concert concerts throughout the city, and uh, this will just uh, be highlighting the organ sound that we have and the beautiful organ instrument that we have at our church, and a lot of community members will be coming as well as they follow the concert series uh, throughout town. So it should be a fun and concert, and it will be about 30 to 40 minutes. So Awesome. And we, uh, we do have child care available for that event, right. too. Excellent. So I'm going to tell you about Create and Celebrate. Please get yourself and your children and grandchildren and neighbors and nieces and nephews and, you know, kids that are interested all signed up for that. Um, that is July 16th, 18th, and 20th from 530 to 830. We do have a preschool section that only goes um, 530 to 730, although if you have kids that are here later, the adults will stay so the kids can play until 830. Now, for Create and Celebrate, we're going to be doing some music, we're going to be doing some art, we're going to be doing dance, we're going to be doing theater, and Dr. Jonathan is actually doing some music with his beautiful wife, Natalie. That's right. And um, it is a great time for the whole family to come. Also, um, Laura Liverly and Jason Atkinson will be offering a Bible study and creative opportunity combo for you and come and explore your faith through art. You don't have to draw, but you'll explore how to make a self-portrait. You don't have to sing, but you'll explore how to worship through a mosaic. And you don't have to be a scientist, but you'll learn how to make an environmentally friendly art project. And if this confuses or intrigues you, come and check it out. You won't be sorry. Those were special words from Lorelei. So please get yourself signed up. We hope to see you all and your families there for that event. That's right. And the last thing we have today is Day of Caring. Um, that's July 20th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Price Elementary. We'll be meeting there. Please um, see more information and to sign up on the church website. So from both of us, have a beautiful day. Yes.